Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the 5% series. This is where we set the teams. I give you a selection of players at the beginning of the season. You choose who you want. I tell you the transfers to make. I tell you who to make captain. And then we see how many points we can get. And we're aiming to finish the top 5% globally, which should be good enough in your mini leagues. Most mini leagues to finish near the top or perhaps even at the top. And this is the last one before the World Cup. So for game week 17, which starts Boxing Day, we get to make as many transfers as we like. So if you've not joined in yet and you're wanting a bit of help with your team or you want to completely join in, game week 17 is when you want to set your team. But you might want to watch this video anyway because you might get some inspiration. As always, we start with the bankers. Everyone has these three players. That's Ward, Martinelli and Haaland. Ward was on the bench. Martinelli scored three and Haaland scored five. But Haaland was the captain, had the wee mule hat on. So he actually got 10 points. So in total, the bankers got us 13 points. The keeper, you would have had Ramsdale or Pope. Ramsdale got six, Pope got three. They average four and a half between them. You would have had two or possibly three of these defenders. Robertson, Cancelo, Perisic, Trippier. Robertson got two, Cancelo minus two, Perisic one, Trippier 12. Now the fact that Cancelo got minus two shouldn't have affected your ranking too much because most managers have Cancelo, so it didn't really matter too much. Same with Trippier getting 12 points. A lot of managers actually have Trippier. So these got an average of probably about 6.5 between them. I'm saying about 6.5 because I know some people have got three of these defenders. Three midfielders, you'd have had three of these. Anthony, Bowen, Foden, Madison, Saka and Zaha. And in game week 15, Anthony didn't play, but of the others, the scores were 2, 1, 11, 5 and 12. So the average for your midfield of the three midfielders we've got here was 15 and a half. The best possible was 28, the worst was 8. You'd have had two of these forwards, Jesus, Calvert-Lewin, Wilson, Solanke. I, say sh I said you'll have two of these, you should have had two of these. I'm aware of somebody who's doing the system that doesn't always manage to follow these videos or maybe see the videos. So they're slightly behind on some of what they're doing. But you should have had two of these anyway. They scored 2, 2, 1 and 6. So that was pretty poor. Average of just 5.5. Now if you had Anthony, then one of your bench players would have come on. This is the order they would have appeared on your bench. Of course you only had three of these on your bench. And they scored 1, 7, 1, 7, 2, 6, 1 and 0. So by my reckoning, the global average was 53. The worst you could have got if you were as unlucky as possible was 26 with this system. The average was 45. The best was 70. And certainly everyone I see who's doing this is between the 5 and 10% mark. So you should be fine for finishing top 5%, I think, as things stand. This is to remind me to say... Uh, if you like this sort of stuff, we've got 243 subscribers at the moment. Please remember to subscribe so that you'll get the video before Boxing Day when we reset the teams and you can set a brand new team and aim to finish top 5%. Don't worry if you're not doing this now and you're currently like halfway down the league at maybe 4 or 5 million. If you follow the instructions from Boxing Day, you'll still zoom up the league and finish pretty high. Certainly within the top 10%, I reckon. And I got nothing to base that on other than is what I think. <laughs> so subscribe if you haven't already, please. Thanks. Game week 16 transfer. If you have Calvert-Lewin, looks like he's out. So get one of these strikers instead. Nunes from Liverpool, Martial from Man United or Solanke if you've not already got from Bournemouth. Just take your pick, whichever one you want. Now, as it's game week 16, if you happen to have a free transfer left or maybe even two and you want to swap out one of your players, that's fine. Either pick an equivalent from the current list we've already got. So if you've got a defender that's marked red, he's not playing, might be sitting on the bench, just bring in one of those defenders. Or if you want to have a punt, it's the last week, just change any of the players you want and get in somebody you fancy from the league as a whole. That's fine as well. If you make a horrible decision, doesn't matter. It's just for one week. So on the bench, every week we just sort the bench out and if we do that, the other 11 sort themselves out. So we have Ward on the bench and then I'm going to show you a number of players now. The first one you see that you have goes in position 3 on your bench. The second one you see that you have, position 2, 
The third one you see that you have is the first on your bench. So Fafana, Justin, Patterson, Williams, Bailey, Gay, Tarkovsky and Andreas. And I think that should have you all covered there. I could be wrong, but I think you'll be all right. Captaincy. We don't at the moment know that Haaland's going to be starting, but I'm suggesting in any case, we put the captain's hat on Haaland. He's going to be the most captain player, almost certainly, this week. And if he does well and he's not your captain, you're going to lose a lot of rank. As for vice captain, if you have Darwin, make him your vice captain. If you don't have Darwin, but you have Martial, make him your vice captain. If you have neither of those, but you do have Zaha, make Zaha your vice captain. If you have none of those, then make Martinelli your vice captain. Hopefully that made enough sense and was easy enough to follow. And so good luck for game week 16 and get ready for a massive load of changes potentially in game week 17 and enjoy the six week break. Thanks. Bye.